uh, if you are like, if you're on YouTube watching this, I'm going to warn you, you probably clicked on this expecting something else. Uh, there are no pizzas in this game. This is called The Crust. It's about a lunar colony. Um, and we're building a colony builder kind of thing. That's right, that's a little pizza joke I like to throw out there. Uh, this is by Veom, V-E-O-M Studio, and published by Crytivo. There's a demo out here right now. Uh, we're going to go down there and build a colony on the moon. And uh, it starts out kind of like kind of ordinary. So I'll, it, we get a little bit of a, a story here and a little bit of a slow build up. Apparently there's going to be a sandbox mode when we get into the game. But right now it's just sort of a, a um, hold your hand kind of a kind of a thing. But um, here like five minutes or so into it, it really like it opens up into something different than what it seems like it's going to be. I don't want to spoil it for you. But... I'm not going to spoil it for you. We're just going to sit back and watch the little video. Mm -mm. Oh, yeah, it is. It is rather. It could be cheesy. Yeah, it's cheesy, but there's no pizza involved. HB11 capsule is delivered to the launch bed. Ready for ascent. Over. Copy that. Start the launch procedure. One, ready for launch. Over. Launch control. It's a pretty game. Remind you of Ixian even more so here in a minute. Ixian, you're sort of building a, you're building like on a station. This one, we are on the moon and we're mining the moon. And I've only played a little bit of this, but I assume there's going to be some whalers on the moon as well. I'm pretty sure that's how it's factual. video game Alpha Centauri that one is this the one you're thinking of Stand by, Alpha team. We've got visitors. you were building a moon I think I mean you must have been on on oh not that one okay not Alpha Centauri um no um I know what you mean you building a you're building a base I think on the moon and it had like oh uh, yeah it flopped it was like one of the biggest flops ever back then and like you would have little cut scenes of like Neil Armstrong stepping on the moon or whatever um, oh, what was it called? I had it. I um, I played it. I mean, I was really young, but... Anyways, you can't hear them. So we've got ourselves a base down here. And these people are going to yammer a lot. Um, their voices are tied to the sound effects, and the sound effects are really loud in this game. Outpost, is that it? I think Outpost is it. It was like the biggest flop video game like of the 90s or something like that. Anyway, they do a lot of yammering over here. And so what we're going to do is we got a couple cargo pods. This is our base uh, at the moment. And we got some solar panels and all that kind of stuff out there. We're going to land some cargo pods down here. Like that. And like that. And all of a sudden they got real quiet. Settings reset whenever. I came in here and I set everything up and then the settings reset. Uh, Try that one. It's a little better. It's like 98, 96, maybe before then, actually. Okay. There we go. So, as you guys come out, we're going to have... This is sort of like, you know, RTS type of builder. We have these little bots, and... These little guys are going to go out and build some stuff. And our job is to build a base, build a moon base, build a, a mining moon base, which we'll get to the mining stuff in a second. So, as she's yammering on some things here... We're going to throw in some solar panels here, like this. We'll set them up like... Oh, uh... Ooh, that music. 
like that. Okay, get to work, you dang bots. How do you call a sneezing otter? A snotter. And you can kind of see how these things, we'll get the tutorial for all this stuff, but you can see how they're all kind of lined up. We got, we got like power lines lining all this stuff up. Well, I went to the doctor today. And I got diagnosed with Tom Jones syndrome. I never heard of it before, but apparently it's not unusual. Let's build some batteries. Good old timey with the jokes today. Smell that one coming a mile away. <laughs> oh, batteries and a charging station. All right, we'll go over here. This is basically tutorial land, um, obviously. So we'll kind of just follow the rules here. And they yammer back. They kind of like bicker back and forth about like one's a scientist, one's a miner, and they kind of yammer back and forth back. But it's something really important. Essentially, they're just sort of walking me through the, the tutorial -y and the story bits. Jones did a good job, uh, not Jones. I'm, I've got Tom Jones on the mind now. I'm gonna have that song stuck in my head for days now. Uh, let's go ahead and link these fellas up. So we're gonna go boink and sort of, uh, what's that, daisy chain? Is that the word? So all the batteries are, are hooked up. And we wanna go over here and we wanna hook up all of the solar panels as well. Like that. And then we wanna make sure everything gets hooked over. Well, we'll just use this thing here. Uh, we get a line here, and we can go and hook this guy into there, and this guy goes into there. Now, everything is 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 all hooked up, and you're thinking, I've played this kind of colony builder before. Well, you haven't played anything like this as we go under, we go downstairs, underground. Well, maybe you have, but I'm not familiar with it. <laughs> We're going to build ourselves a drone reconfiguration module down here. Didn't need to do that. So these little drones that come down here, and I'm going to build this this fella over this way. Look at that. And this is going to allow us to switch these drones out. I know they're, they're buildy drones. This will allow us to switch them out to miney drones. So we can do some mining, because that's the whole reason we're here. Okay. Let's connect power to that guy. Let's go do some wires and connect from there to there. Okay. Now, let's get these drones switched over to be miney drones. Look at that. So up to five of them can be switched over. And they are reconfiguring themselves and putting drill bits on their faces. So they can do some mining. And so we're going to come over here and we're going to do some painting. We're just going to paint ourselves a area of, of mining. I'm not sure it matters what we do here. We'll just follow the tutorial. Oh, it's different colors, because I guess because I, every time I clicked it was a different color. Hmm. So they're yammering yeah, back and forth for a bit. But they're going to go ahead and do a little bit of mining over here. Getting some regolith here. And as soon as we get 50, which we'll get there in a second, let me go ahead and speed up. Then, the twist. Oh no, what'd I do? Sorry, sorry. It's not crashed. It just sits here for a minute. Give it a minute. It'll cooperate. Sorry, I hit print screen trying to like take a picture. I forgot F12 is a picture taker, not not print screen on Steam. Um.
yeah, there's a lot of snark going on with the, with these folks that are chanting back and forth. And there's our beautiful colony that we just spent all this time building. I was playing this just to kind of see if it was worth showing off here, you know. Um, kind of run through my demos. And I got about to this point and I was like, yeah, you know, it's... It's not really any different than a lot of the other ones that I've played. And then that happened. I was like, okay, I'll stream this one. Repair the elevator. Got it. Get those solar panels and the batteries up and running. Four solar panels. So Tiny solar panels. The response we get from the head of the scientific department and a renowned scientist is that the explosion... We go, we'll get those guys away. done. And we don't know the cause? That's because scientists rely on established facts rather than speculating... Moon war. ...reliable data. They prefer to work with what is known rather than jumping to hasty conclusions. I've heard that First Vice President Alice Vance maintains her composure and professionalism in all circumstances. There's that snark. It's time for you to call your alter ego. Maybe I should, Professor. Tell me, prior to the moon launch, we were actively involved in a range of technologies aimed at advancing autonomous mining. Could you provide an update on the status of this project? We had a plan for an autonomous extraction plant, but it's currently just a project. Given the circumstances, implementation seems unlikely. Link up now to this fella. Regain access to the underground level. Select Objective it and order the drones to start repairing it. You can okay. change the game speed. Mm -hmm, Select mm -hmm. the Let's fix this fella up. Okay, so we'll grab some bits and go fix up the uh, the elevator so we can go back downstairs. Director, Crust has made an official statement. I will put it on the screen. Official statement, let's see it. Sorry, it's kind of quiet. To reestablish contact with lunar outposts and assess the situation. The number of casualties, if any, is being verified. As a result of the impact, four of the five lunar orbital stations are non operational. This has caused disruptions in navigation and logistic systems. Be advised that all lunar based activities and communications may experience delays or interruptions until further notice. We want to emphasize that Earth is not in any danger as a result of this event. We will continue working around the clock to address this unprecedented event and ensure the safety of all those affected. Do not spread unverified information as it may lead to unnecessary panic. I'm not sure if you can hear that. Is that coming through in the audio at all? Anyway, let's build a charging station here. Uh, we want that one and a charging station. Oh, it turned out to be an asteroid after all. Professor, is that even a possibility? Collision of an asteroid with the moon. That's plausible. However, the possibility of not detecting an asteroid of that size and predicted trajectory in time raises another question. Anyway, we've received your request for research projects. Let's finish the current tasks first. Wire him over there and head back down. We gotta get power back to this guy again. Look at that. While lunar outposts showcase humanity's technological advancement, their longevity is limited. Now we do have electricity, but we need both steel and concrete to keep the modules running. Start by researching and... Uh, research, uh, the, the press... Sorry, I didn't mean to click, click, click that. So we research, we have smelting processing, geo, whatever. Let's do, which one do you want me to do? Pressing module and then build it. Unlock pressing module. Pressing module. Pressing module. Okay, we get that one done, and we'll go do some. We'll get some chunks mined. As soon as we can, some. can we do some of this? Yeah. Um, trying to remember the name Haven Hearth. You know, it's funny you say that. So, when I first discovered Haven and Hearth, I found it. I don't know. Sometime when I was just kind of perusing through, trying to find some some games um, just to play on the channel, and I came across it. Okay, she's gonna yammer a bit. Okay. Um, I, I found it a long time ago, and I was planning on doing a free games month thing, and so I thought, oh, this would be perfect for free games month. It's a free game, it's a cool game, 
I'll show it off then in November. And then I forgot about it. And I'm, I looked for like days. I looked, trying to remember the name of the game, trying to find it because it's not on Steam. And you can't really find it. Like, there's not a lot of stuff about it. And it wasn't until the next year, maybe actually two years later, I finally found it because someone mentioned it in chat at, some, at something. And um, finally, finally I, I, I was able to play it. Uh, we want a pressing module. Does it have to go downstairs? This is going to make some some blocks. It takes these, uh, yeah, it takes these bits and turns them into um, what we want. So we'll just toss this guy over here, I suppose. Maybe this one. You can't build here. Okay, then. I'll put it right there. They're mining away, and they should be. Yeah, these little workers should come over here, build this thing, and then we'll start. Make some smart concrete. That's the good stuff. Comes in there and helps you with your math problems. Now get the drones to build it. I wouldn't wait too long if I were you. And add a bulk resource storage to it, so your drones have a place to take the regolith they find. Keep in mind that the detector contains ultra-sensitive phased arrays, making it essential to construct it below the moon's surface. It is not designed to withstand lunar dust and solar radiation. Or detector. Unlock the geological geologic prospecting. Geologic prospecting. That one right there. Okay. It said to connect uh, a storage thing to this, which I don't know. To, I'm not really sure how to do that. Let's see if we can figure it out. We do. I saw it in here somewhere. Oh, recreation. Bars and canteens. So we'll have people here eventually. And couches. We actually designed this stuff inside a gaming chair. Oh, my. So there's a single resource type and then a bulk resource storage. I guess we'll do a single resource and we'll attach it. Can we attach it over here? There's a sort of like an in and out, in and out. It doesn't tell me to do this just yet. I'm worried about uh, messing with it just yet. Just in case it tells me something else. So let's get that ore detector. And we'll pop this guy over here, I guess. Okay, let's take all those bits. Toss them in there, and it's going to make me some bricks. I mean, smart concrete. Yeah. I'm going to start telling people that I don't have a brick house. I have a smart concrete house. Bulk is for raw materials, and single resources are for fine materials. Okay, so we should put the bricks over on this side. Gotcha. How much uh, time did you put into this demo? Is this a long one? I think I saw someone on a video doing like like an hour or something like that playing this. Let's wire this fella up. Oh, he's full. Okay. Require a smelting furnace which employs the reduction method to convert the oxide into usable resources. Although we haven't tested this technology yet, smelting furnace. It should work as intended. Theoretically, Professor, are you sure that it's worth taking the risk at this moment? Our whole enterprise is now one big risk. It can't be eliminated even if we do absolutely nothing. We found water on the moon. I'm quite certain about that. Hmm. Exciting. our way over there. I'm not sure if... Uh, I'm, I'm assuming what we're going to have is the mining operation downstairs and then, like, the people operation will be upstairs. Although I think, um, like, maybe the other way around, because I think realistically, I think I think under the surface of the moon is really the only, like, feasible place to put people because of the solar radiation and all that. There's where I said... Okay, so those zones are where I put up, like, like, priority zones or whatever with this. I get it. I see. I see. Get my research done yet. Smelting furnace under mining. There it is. Okay, so it's gonna take those things and make make some bars out of it. No, oh, some iron. Make it into bars. 
So my tech is done. Is that my, uh, there's my battery power. Last for 22 days. Is it going down? Do I need more, um, I need more solar panels. Let's pop a couple in here. Ooh, they're pretty lights. If they didn't have all those lights on there, it probably would have more power. I'm wasting it all on pretty lights. I think we'll just do, well, just do what they're doing here. I don't quite match up because they're, you know, a little smaller. Link these fellas up. Like that. Well, we'll, uh, yeah, it is, it is nighttime, isn't it? Solar panels won't do us too much good. That's true. <laughs> That's very true. So I need that smart concrete. It's telling me. It's like, what are you doing? It's nighttime. Okay, research done. Let's build a smelting furnace. Uh, where was that? That was in this guy, production smelting furnace. I think we'll try to leave, I'll try to leave some gaps between. Well, you can always, like, make gaps, I suppose. Hey, you know, how's it going? I might as well do a little mining while we're, like, no point in just sitting here doing nothing. Get that taken care of and build that furnace. And we'll go ahead and we'll grab this one. Underground extraction. Well, maybe not. That's a thousand. It's going to be, well, maybe not. While we're waiting for them to do this, we'll go ahead and get that done. So we get something researched here. Power is, is down 19 days. But I presume daytime will hit eventually. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. In a couple weeks when the sun comes up. What? Is that how long a day is on the moon? I guess so, because it... Right. Now select the recipe for producing steel in the smelting furnace. Is it two weeks for for a, a cycle on the moon? Uh, recipe for s producing steel in the smelting furnace. Uh, well, you need power first. Let me get you some power. It's gonna have to go to this. Oh, we we'll have to put a power thing in here. There. And then I need you to do production to. Got it. Uh, what are you trying to tell me? I'm trying to tell me you don't have any any stuff. Underground ex oh wrong button. That up. Ah! <laughs> I don't want to join the Discord. That that eye up there is, is too close to everything else that I'm hitting. Uh, where are my research? Oh, because I'm already researching something. Um, how do I get to research now? Down here. So that's what we're looking at. Yeah. Okay. Good. Choose wisely. Build an extractor on an iron vein. Oh, we can just pop it straight on there, so they don't have to manually go and do it. That's handy. Month takes about a month, so the moon takes, yeah, what, 28 days to go around the Earth? And the same side always faces Earth. A lunar day is a month long. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah, because I guess it has to be, I guess it makes sense. I get it. Sort of. There's the, uh, is that the water? Oh, it's like a kind of percentage thing, so, so it's not necessarily like... At least that one over there is not 100% water. It's a little bit of everything. Okay, okay. <clears throat> that ice deposit there. Let's build an extractor on that vein. Uh, mining. 
extractor. We'll slap it down right. Yeah, I might have to do a little bit of. Yeah, let's mine this out a little more. I um, my I had this mouse. I got it a long time ago. It's like a Logitech Ergo trackball. I love this mouse, and they got the thing that every Logitech mouse has, where like the, the double click thing and the mouse clicker starts screwing up because they put cheap parts in there. Well, I finally broke down, and well, I didn't break down and, and and buy a new one. I I got just I just bought a switch. I thought I can I can solder things, and so I soldered in a new switch. And it works. I fixed it. Problem is, I um, I'm not used to this mouse. So I have to get back used to this mouse again because it's got like um, it just feels different, you know. And this new switch that I put in is very sensitive. So like, I'm gonna be double clicking a lot of things just on my own now <laughs> because uh, it's a very sensitive, sensitive clicker. But it works, and I'm proud of myself because because <laughs> I soldered something correctly. Ooh, look at that power. How long until the next day? Um, how do I tell you guys to do to do this? Oh, you know why? Because I have too many of you. So let me lower you a bit. So the rest of you can come and mine this thing out. Because we're not getting anything opened up. <clears throat> I, um... So this is... I... I I was like, well, I, I'm not going to put all the effort into doing that. But I um, I looked it up. Because I, I thought, well, I'll, I'll, I'll buy another one. It's not a cheap mouse. And it's just going to break again. And apparently the switches they put in are dirt, are like, oh, are terrible. And so I bought some good switches. And I was like, well, I'll, I'll look at it. And I don't have a soldering iron. So I was like, I'll look at Amazon. I got a soldering iron for nine bucks. The switch was like $5. Uh, my name is Clyde Draper, and I represent the interest of Crust. We're aware of your activity on the moon, and you are trying to keep your company and equipment. This is where we can help each other. Your task is to examine the nearby repeater. You're now operating beyond the confines of fair competition and industrial espionage regulations. Also, Crust authorizes you to use all found data and equipment without restriction. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Crust. We almost lost all our equipment and communication. Now we also have Crust to deal with. By the way, Wilfrey, it seems they haven't forgotten about you either. Anyway, Director, let's see what we got. Land the pod with the rover and we will proceed. What is that for the rover? Um, there. Yeah, I really, I really like this mouse. This is my favorite mouse that I've ever had. And every Logitech that I have does that double click thing. I've got like a, a whole like array of mice that have all broken because of the double click thing. And I wish I could switch companies, but there just really isn't any good company. There's a few cheaper ones out there. Nothing quite feels like, like this one. I'm gonna on a bit. Send the rover outside the base. Um, it's not always using the rover interface. Leave the base. Um. And so, it was actually pretty easy, just getting the old solder off was a little finicky, and you know, it's small and all that, but it wasn't a difficult thing. Outpost came out in 94. One of the main designers being a former NASA scientist. I remember it was real big, like NASA was like, it was all about NASA stuff. Um, where, we didn't power it out, yeah. Like you were, um, it had like the, like the video clips it was 94, video, like real video clips. It was a very pretty game. I remember it being a very pretty, I'm sure it was dirt ugly, but I remember it being a very pretty game. Okay, let's go. Oh, we're crossing the streams there. Scroll died. Okay, you working now? Oh, you need power. Right, 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 right. Uh. 
There we go. So now, now you should be cooking. There we go. Oops. Okay, orbital level. Uh, that one's connected now, right? X. Examine the repeater. Is this this guy? That's my base. Head on over there. Okay. Started. That guy. Investigate. There he goes. Okay. And so he's just kind of cruising. He's cruising on over there. There he goes. Okay. Cool. Unlock single regolith refinery. Is that a research? Yeah. Okay, so there's our iron guy. We got him cooking up some uh, whatever he's cooking up over there. I don't want to spend too long in this game. I, I certainly could. A lot more here, actually, than I was than I was thinking. I saw that explosion thing, and I was like, oh, this is good stuff. Um, we'll have to come back to this whenever it comes out. But I will um, wait and see what this guy, what this news this guy brings over here. Lego Rock Raiders. <laughs> Name of the clicker part of the mouse, Switch. Sure, Harley. It's called a mouse switch. You can find them on, um, I got it on eBay, I think. I think I got it off eBay. Because they were, they were just like, I think they were, I don't, I don't know why I didn't get off Amazon, but they were cheap on eBay. And, and so there's, uh, Omicron, I think, is the the name on it. There's there's a Chinese version and there's a Japanese version. You want to get the Japanese version. That's, that's that's what my research took me. Get the Japanese version because the Chinese version is the one that Logitech uses. But they're the cheapos. Get the Japanese version. Fix that fella up over there. Was he there? He's research. He's scanning. Okay. Peter was severely damaged after an explosion. The central console reported system failure and shut down. Exam uh, examination recovered a few surviving storage drives of data. Okay. Take some research. So you should probably head back. Back to base. Director, while we have found enough useful data, there are also enough valuable resources. Mr. Ratchet, are you fully aware of the... Very much so, Alec. And I'm sure my drones can fix this piece of junk. Omron. That's it. Omron. Yeah. Cargo truck. Oh, we need we need stuff. Um, I need my, oh I need more steel and I need some components. Do I have components? You're making that. Can I switch you over to make something else? No, I don't want to do that. We'll let you be. A single regolith refinery. This guy, and he's gonna make some other stuff. Okay. Like that. Okay, here's my research tip. You have three different types of research at the top of the screen. When you look at the tech tree, each research tree needs a certain amount of each. Your early tech only needs one color. So you can research more than one tech at the same time. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah, because we're using... Ah, I see. So this is the color whatever. Okay, so this is the blue stuff. We can get bigger bigger solar panels, for instance. And we got social. Is this the orange orange stuff? No, this is, this is the green. Living rooms. Ice melting technology. I don't 
Okay, okay, I see. That guy's overloaded or full now. We need repair. Oh, yeah, yeah, you need repair. And I gotta get these components somehow. Iron oxide from you. That one. Okay, conveyor belt. That's what we want. Hey, Naza, how's it going? And we can convey her, convey her some things. Um, I do have 11 components. Okay, so I got enough. I don't have enough. Uh, I only have six steel. Um, I guess I need a conveyor belt to do this. It, it's, wait, you should be making... You, are you making... You're making this stuff. Which needs to be going here to make these. So you're gonna also so your iron oxide, and you're gonna make an iron oxide also, and it's gonna go into there to make some of these fellas as well. I should probably have a, uh, like a storage thing. Yeah, where were they? Storages. Right there. Hey, Jeff. How's it going? Uh, 1996 Computer Gaming World declared Outpost the worst computer game ever released. That must be where I, where I remember that because um, my brothers got Computer Gaming World. And I remember Computer Gaming World well. And that must be why where I got that worst. It was a terrible game. I should go. I should do a stream of it. So I feel like you would do better if you were making other things, but you're taking... Well, I guess you're taking different things. You're taking the, the regular thing. You're taking the iron and making this stuff. So to fix that cargo truck, we're going to need, well, like 30 of them. 45 steel to be a little bit. Is my uh, my buddy back yet? He must be. Yeah, he's, a, he's over here hanging out. Can I come over here and collect this stuff? Paid lab. Exchange money for science points of your choice. Send a rover to start interacting. Crucial hub for monitoring and regulating traffic in this sector of the moon. Some wreckage over there. A distress call over there. Let's go see what the distress call is. You, buddy. Let's see what's going on over there. Okay, let's pick up the pace. I'll fix this guy eventually. I think it's, it might be a while. We may not get there. Okay, so now they're there hauling some stuff around. And this stuff's all going here. This is going to cook out some of the some of these things, and then these should eventually get brought over here. I wonder. Um, so I've got. I could lower this because I'm not really doing any mining. Lower this a bit so we got more haulers running around, haulers and builders, so we can have just two constructors, or two miners, we don't need that many right now. I suppose we could scan for another group of, uh, of iron out there. Neat. Well, um, where's this guy at? Yeah, you know what? I'll leave some suspense for those of you that want to check out the demo. So let's, let's wrap it up here. This is the crust. Not a pizza making game, but maybe at some point we can come in here and start making some pizza bars. I sure hope so. Because now I'm playing a game called The Crust, I want some pizza. Anyway, this is available in demo form at the moment on um, on on Steam. I'm not sure how long the demo will be around. Uh, 
but it's here for the next fest, which is here for a couple more days. And um, build a lunar base. Neat. Ooh, look at that. 30 screenshots? Oh, man. We can feel like we just played the game just by looking at screenshots. Crash site. There's, there's that one. Ooh, big base. Yeah, I'll definitely be back here with this one whenever it comes out. That's the kind of stuff I'm interested in. That's that's cool. And so we got the story mode, which we were, we were doing, but there will be a sandbox mode apparently as well. Interesting. All right, there is the crust.